a couple of months ago, Coconut Bob from La Coco Sonjado was experimenting with his latest Athena board and his Gimme X. He was playing around with it and did something and basically his Gimme X broke. It became inoperable. We were talking and I offered to take a look at it, so he shipped it over to me. So in this video, I'm gonna show how I was messing around with it. Coco Strangiato is a great YouTube channel. Coconut Bob has a lot of great videos um, where he has Coco hardware and software mods. I highly recommend it. The link will be in the description. On to the video. This is a Gimme X. The Gimme X is an FPGA replacement for the Gimme chip found in the Tandy Color Computer 3. The Gimme X was designed and built by Ed Snyder and Gary Becker. This Gimme X is no longer functional. Unfortunately, it died in a freak gasoline fight accident. Just kidding. It just died because of some experimentation that was done to it. So in this video, what I am going to try to do is I'm going to try and replace this Cyclone 4 chip with another one. And then I'll cross my fingers and hope it works. Because we cannot have a Gimme X go away. These things need to live on. So don't cross my fingers and wish me luck. All right, as you can see, I've added some aluminum tape to protect some of the components and connectors that are on here. And I've added copious amounts of flux to help in the desolder process. And so now it's gonna get very loud. So let's see how this goes. And there we go. That wasn't too bad. Okay, now I'm gonna clean this up and put the replacement chip on. Okay, after a quick inspection, um, I did notice that there's, it looks like there's a little bit of damage uh, to these pads here, this side. Um, nothing serious, nothing significant, nothing that's going to, you know, stop it from working. Um, that damage, I'm pretty confident, uh, wasn't from the removal. I think that was there before. It could be a, well, it could be a manufacturing defect, uh, or could have been damage done during the installation. I don't know. Uh, but it's nothing too serious. Um, so I decided that I wasn't going to clean off the flux and I'm just going to leave the flux that was on there on there. And what I'm going to try and do is reflow it. Um, onto the new chip that I'm going to put on there. Um, I did remove the flux um, right here in the center pad just so that, because um, it's hard to get to. And um, so Ed Snyder, when he designed this very smartly, put a hole in there so we can solder from the other side. Uh, and so that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So um, yeah, let me prep this. I'm going to add some flux here and then I'll place the chip on top and solder it on. All right. The chip is placed on there. I've put flux, uh, some flux on there. The chip isn't exactly on the pads, but it doesn't need to be. Um, and hopefully I can capture that in this video. As you heat it up and the solder becomes uh, molten, uh, the tension will pull it into place. Hopefully. <laughs> All right, fingers crossed. Okay, let's see if we can get this on film.
it looks like there it is. I gotta check this, but it looks pretty good. All right, I think that came out great. All right, so turned out uh, the chip was a little askew and it had jumped one pin, a couple of pins off, so I had to heat it up again and move it around. But as you can see now, it, it looks pretty straight. Um, this is difficult to do while filming because I'm trying to do this with a cell phone. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take it off of here and I'm gonna put it under my microscope and confirm that each leg is where it needs to be. But uh, I think this looks pretty good. Okay, so this is what it came out like. Not too shabby, it looks pretty good. And the only thing left now is to solder that center pad. And we can do that on this side because Ed left a hole there just for that, which was very smart. Because those things tend to be a pain if you're doing this by hand. So all I gotta do is heat this up, put some solder in there. And there we go. Now I'm gonna clean this up some more and then pop it into the cocoa and hope it works. Give me access plugged in. I went over the pins, I re-soldered some of them by hand. I mean, they look good and see what happens. And we have a green screen and a cursor, yay. Says okay, okay. I'll take it. Better than it was before.